The hearing was held following a motion tabled in Parliament on Next fake qualifications the in the, the public service. However, the Public Service Commission said it had only dealt with one case nine years ago. The low number of cases, says the Commission, however, may be as a result of lack of proper procedures in place to detect false qualifications. Act 20, Act 3 of 2020 also classifies falsification of or counterfeiting of a certificate on diploma purporting to have been issued in terms of Section 1232 of the same Act as an offence which a person is liable for a penalty not exceeding a fine of 40,000 Namibian dollars or a period of four years imprisonment or both. What we are actually telling the Omar is to say you can run two parallel at the same time. Report to the police, but ED, in terms of our law, is empowered to charge a staff member, to cause a report to be produced, and then if he believes or she believes that the person is have committed an offence, he can be charged. But we are saying they should not wait for one another. You report to the police, but you can also, at the same time, uh, move with the administrative um, procedures to charge a person. As part of the recruitment process, the Commission says it makes sure that documents attached to the job application are certified by the police. Looking at the seriousness of this issue, uh, they, they should say, like they say in another paragraph where they say, I think that should be compelled, the ministry should be compelled, the officers to be compelled to report the matter to the Namibian police. Otherwise, if we say we are just encouraging them to report, there is a leeway to say to leave it and, uh, and escape with the matter. The Commission further says there is a need for institutions to collaborate and develop methods to deal with fake qualifications. It is therefore recommended that strict strategies and measures to verify qualifications are in place. Selima Henok. NBC News, Vantuk.